Hello everybody and welcome back to the Money Pit Homestead. Well, today the sun's setting low. We, it's a Sunday afternoon and uh, well, I'm sit, standing here down here by the spring checking the spring out because I hadn't been here for a couple days uh, because we went to the Oki Expo, Homesteading Expo uh, in Oklahoma, prior Oklahoma. Uh, there was a lot of people there. Wonderful event. Uh, if you ever get it, if you didn't go or haven't gone, and you ever get a chance to go, uh, I suggest that you go. And uh, well, as you see, I I had to make some notes of stuff. Uh, as luck would have it, and you know who you know, people that watch know who I am, and that I like to talk. So we got a lot of pictures, or Lisa got a lot of pictures going back and forth. Uh, but uh, going to the Oki and back and stuff like that so uh she gave me all those pictures and ha and uh we're gonna upload them here in a minute and uh well we'll attach them to this and uh y'all watch those pictures we started out as she was going to take pictures of american flags and uh, we was going to make a couple shorts of it because to be perfectly honest with you there's times when we we're going back and forth uh to other towns and stuff like that you just don't see American flags in businesses and stuff like that much as you used to. I mean, used to there was American flags, big ones that would cover my van, whatever. I mean, they was huge. And uh, well, we got seeing some minutes. She just started taking pictures of American flags. And uh, like I said, we was going to make a short out of it. But uh, as things would have it, we uh, we ended up getting so many pictures of that bridges, uh, rivers that we crossed. Uh, different things uh and uh it was amazing but uh anyway i will put them up in a little bit but we met so many people that uh i like i said i got talking and stuff like that and we talked and stalked and <laughs> i uh we got there a day early because uh i wanted to uh, meet up with uh uh randy and jerry they took it they invited us to dinner so we went ahead and showed up early and uh Went to dinner with them. They had the grandkids with them, and uh, oh, I got news for you. They they really took us to a place that was it was J and L barbecue. And if you're ever in Pryor, make sure you go to J and L the barbecue. They said uh, they told us they said, well, try that uh, two meat combo. Well, the next thing you know, they got a bunch of fries in their hands, and we got a whole plate of fries and the beans. The way they marinate their beans and meats and stuff like that uh, uh, yeah uh, well let's put it this way donald foundered himself that night i think lisa did too because <laughs> neither one of us were up very long after that we had a little snack when we got back to the before but the next day we eat on it before we went to uh back over to over to the uh opening uh, thing of the uh of the expo i just it was so delicious and so good the uh it was a two beat combo and it was like i said you got your choice of sides and all kinds of stuff and oh i i, I can't say it if i ever will we go back to prior donald will be eating there again i guarantee it <laughs> it was it was that good i mean it was a she made me some notes and stuff like that i made some notes everybody made notes but um uh, the drive it was just so smooth i mean we were uh it was good roads all the way there and back uh good scenery i'm not going to tell her but i want y'all to know i had some good company with me lisa but uh we won't be bothering to tell her but anyway <laughs> yes i do tease her too much but anyway we uh like i said we had an enjoyable day uh talking to different people i got to know uh randy and jerry a whole lot better we i, I really enjoyed my time talking to them it was uh it was very enjoyable I, I i got to know them better hopefully they got to know me better uh the uh it was it was really an amazing day we all the different things he showed he uh went around and showed us a couple different things and stuff like that uh introduced us to different people that he knew and stuff and uh it, just, like i said it was just a great day we didn't take a lot of pictures but we got to talk to a lot of people introduce them to a lot of people and and uh it was like the second day was amazing too. We uh, we went in and talked to him. We exchanged some stuff. Oh, he gave me. We gave him a couple pieces, a uh, couple bags. I think you know of uh, 
Lisa had put up of our pulled ham that we did, we got a video on, and uh, they uh, we already talked to them and they said they enjoyed that, and uh, even some people that uh, Randy didn't think that would eat it, ate it and loved it. They said it was good, so I I'm proud of that. But uh, yeah, the uh, I'm gonna have to get the, his recipe to his. Uh, he calls it, uh, well, he put puts them in a quart jar. I just saw a deer. Uh, puts them in a quart jar. Uh, these uh, hot dogs that he cuts up. And he puts onions and and uh, he thought, calls them thunder chips or thunder flakes is what he calls them. Yeah, uh, the uh, cayenne pepper flakes. And, uh, oh, I've already found it myself on them because the jar's half empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to learn how to make them. Or he's gonna to have to learn how to mail quart jars to me. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They're they're half gone, and uh, I have never. He gave us a package of deer meat, uh, deer jerky, that he made, and uh, usually Lisa don't eat a lot of it, but she deer jerky. But she ate a piece last night, and uh, she said she liked it and everything, and and uh, so I thought, well, that might be the end of that, but because she's not big on deer jerky, she likes jerky. But the deer jerky is where, but she come down after she, we eat breakfast this morning. She was like, well, before we ate breakfast this morning, she actually goes, where's that jerky? And I said, well, you know, I told her where it was. And next thing I know, she's got a piece in her mouth while she's chew, while she's fixing breakfast and stuff. And I'm going, okay. So anyway, next time she got another piece, another piece. And now that bag's almost empty. I mean, I had, a, I had several pieces of it too, but. I didn't know she was going to eat that much of it, <laughs> and uh, but that you know, I'm glad she did. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. The uh, we did see a, a real bad accident. It'll be in the middle of the pictures and stuff like that. Somebody come, it has cross streets and everybody's doing like 100 mile an hour or whatever down the straight, and somebody decided to pull out in front of a pickup truck in a little bitty car, and the truck took the whole front end off the uh, thing and. You'll see it, but thank God nobody. I did, didn't look. There was ambulances there and stuff like that, but it didn't look like anybody was hurt or anything like that. They were just uh, trying to clean up the mess, but motioning us through, which I was surprised because there was still debris all over the road, but they just kept motioning us to go through, so we did. And we never got a flash, so thank God for that. And thank God everybody else was happy. And, you know, the, uh, oh yeah. There was a huge fire in the uh, Mark Twain uh, forest or whatever you want to call it. The, uh, I wonder, let's see, Mark Twain National Forest. Yeah, that's what it was, National, Mark Twain National Forest. And, uh, but all the smoke was rolling through. It was thick, you could smell it inside the car. And yeah, it was really thick and nasty, but it was, uh, I mean, you never saw any flames or anything like that, but, so, but there was something on fire somewhere. But, uh, oh yeah, we got to, uh, it's called the Ozark of, uh, the, uh, uh, in, in Missouri, it's called the, well, there's a picture of the, the cra the, uh, building that, where I, where, that we stopped at. It's a little gift shop. We stopped there last year, and, uh, as luck would have it, got me a new big hat. <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> uh, so now I got hat, big hats to trade out all all year long. <laughs> oh yeah, but we we had a we had a ball going down through there. But anyway, uh, like I said, we uh, Randy showed us. We already knew the the people and stuff like that on the YouTube channel. But to be perfectly honest with, we never had any of their uh, freeze dried candies. And so next thing I know, Randy's over. He uh, introduced us to uh, saltwater taffy. And uh, what was the mother? Skittles. Yeah, that's what it was. Skittles. And oh my, Skittles are good. Uh, I like them much better freeze dried. And saltwater taffy is usually something that wants to pull all your teeth out. But this stuff melts in your mouth once they freeze dried. It is amazing what it tastes like when they're freeze dried. And it, it's just, I don't know, it's just amazing. And uh, that was uh, Jack and Dana. Dina. Uh, Dyer, I always pronounce people's name wrong. At Dyer Family Farm, I'll put a link to it down there in the, in the uh, description and stuff like that. Uh, to their uh, YouTube channel and stuff like that. It, 
like I said, they make amazing candy and stuff like that. They're good people, wonderful to talk to. I, I they're, you know, they're really nice people. They, uh, uh, we also talked to uh, Survival Seeds, and at Jason, uh, I would recommend you all go check out his channel. They're selling uh, seeds. Basically, they're selling heirloom seeds, and he, he even made it on a different video that we watched. He made a comment, well, if you buy seeds from us once, you never have to buy seeds again. True. <laughs> that is very true, you know, because if they're heirloom seeds, you can take seeds out of what you grow this year and plant next year like grandma and grandpa and their parents did before them and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they had popcorn, mom and pop, kettle popcorn and stuff. Believe it or not, they had cheesecake dipped in chocolate. And I'm not the greatest on chocolate. I mean, I eat chocolate every now and then and stuff like that. But this stuff was amazing. <laughs> you take a bite of it and it would just seem to just crumble and melt in your mouth. It was really good. They, uh, but it's called Mom and pa Paul Ke uh, Kettle Corn. They, uh, but, uh, oh, and we had lemonade uh, there. We had it a couple of times. It was so delicious. We had it several different times. Uh, big on lemonade, me and Lisa both. Uh, but and but it's got to be good. Got news for you. This, she makes uh, the, the it was Garrett and Tyler Taylor uh, Moore, uh, and uh, she has a lemonade stand, and he has some of the coolest looking uh, catfish floats. They're like if you're jug fishing and stuff like that, and you want to do high tech jug fishing, you know that, that you got to buy some of these because. They lay down and float. They pop up. They got lights. You can go. I mean, you can get lights on them. You can get everything. You go down 40 foot. What? Whatever the, uh, whatever you want. They 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 have. I guess. I, I'm not sure. I haven't researched all of it. But just sitting there talking to him, son, and seeing some of the pictures of some of the stuff he uh, he makes and stuff like that had to be probably some of the coolest things I, I think of the way to catfish on jugs I've ever seen. They, uh, but yeah, they got, I'll link their Facebook page and their, um, and their jug page to, you know, where it is GMT, uh, fishing jugs, GMT jugs. I mean, and then their, uh, their Facebook page is like their, per, her personal page, but it's still, you need to find out where she's going to be next and gets you some lemonade and stuff like that. Uh, but like I said, the, uh, the highlight of the event for me was well we got to go to the Oki and stuff like that but the highlight for me was uh getting to uh i met randy a, uh two years ago and uh we took a picture and stuff like that we started corresponding back and forth through uh uh the uh videos and stuff like that but just to sit down and across the table from each other and listen to stories that he had to tell and share and stuff like that and uh and to see how genuine somebody is. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that's not genuine anymore and stuff like that. And uh, Randy and Jerry, his wife, are probably some of the most genuine people you ever meet and the nicest people you ever meet. It's, it is amazing that every now and then you strike it lucky and get somebody <laughs> that you find somebody that's really a really good person. And uh, you, I don't think, if anybody knows Jerry, I, I mean, uh, Randy, I guarantee you, all the people that he introduced us to and stuff like that, always over the top saying nice stuff about him and stuff like that. So, I uh, like I said, got a good friend. So anyway, I'm going to go up here now and I'm going to feed and uh, film up there just a little bit. And uh, we'll see, in between we'll put uh, put the pictures. <laughs> but what do y'all think of my new hat? <laughs> uh, we drove down through there. And uh, one thing led to another and go, hey, me and Lisa both went, hey, that's where you got that hat. So we turned off that, at that exit. <laughs> oh yes, we're two nuts.
Well, I fed all the chickens. Well, I really didn't have a lot to do. Uh, what happens when you have good help when you go away and you ask somebody to take care of things? Well, guess what? When they do, everything works out the way it should. Anyway, like I said, <laughs> I hope y'all watched this short uh, that I put up. Kind of, I said the uh, goat gotta go. So I said, so in the short, it was like, if you didn't watch it, it was well. Well, I said goat got to go, so there it is, and it's gone. Yeah, Emily, while she was over here taking care of everything for us, she, uh, she decided to take her goats home. She got some fencing done, evidently, over there. That's what she reason she brought them over here. She needed to do some work over there and uh, at her place, and uh, evidently she's got it done. She's getting ready. She said something uh, to her mama the other day about... Uh, Maybe bringing the goats home. I mean, the cows home too. So, the uh, I guess I'm gonna have to get my own animals for long. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I got all these chickens. I got a, anybody want to eat chickens? Uh, I got a lot of roosters, a lot of beautiful roosters. Uh, but uh, we're gonna have to get rid of a bunch of them. We're gonna have to do one. So either get rid of them, give them somebody, sell them to somebody, uh, or uh, start. Uh, shall we say, sitting on freezer camp and uh see what we can get out of them that way but uh <laughs> like i said i hope you enjoyed the pictures that we put up i hope you enjoyed the music i put with it uh, anything y'all want to see next week i got i'm gonna try to hit the uh ground uh moving around uh, my foot's feeling a lot better i was able to walk around at the Oki fest uh and uh really not have any trouble uh, of course it, it's still in that i'm gonna get tarred stage but uh Anyway, it is what it is, and so uh, probably have the rest of my life to worry about that and how to take care of it. So uh, it, it's I never had any problem with that ankle until I got that uh, doctor's assistant or whatever you want to see nurse aide or uh, pract nurse practitioner uh, of the heart doctor uh, gave me Eliquist instead of. Uh, uh, water pills like he said and I know it's a rep repetitive thing but uh, when that ankle swelled up so big I couldn't get my baggy pants on well I've had trouble with it ever since I couldn't walk then I, I finally got relief and uh, every now and then it seems like I'm having to get more relief but anyway enough said about that I'm going to uh, leave this on a happy note we got a sunset over here and I we was uh, on the way down we stayed at this motel and I looked out the out the back door as the sun was coming up, and I told Lisa, I said, I ought to take me a short and send that to them. That'd be something different. I said they're used to me sending them uh, uh, shorts with uh, sunsets in it and, and videos with sunsets in it. I'll get me a get me a little recording of that sun coming up, and it was beautiful. The sun was. She said, Do you really want to do that? I, what do you mean? She said, Look at all this. She goes, There's nothing but. Outside of where it was, it, there's no way you could have got a picture of that sun without taking pictures of, uh, of garbage can. You know, I'm talking dumpsters, big dumpsters, and all this stuff. There was some construction being done around there, and and uh, buildings being tore down because of the area, or whatever. I don't know. They uh, they were moving things around, shall we say? And uh, I got looking at the area. Go, I was looking at the sun. But I, I'm like, well, so y'all got cheated out of a sunrise. <laughs> Y'all didn't get to see it because it, yeah, it was, it was terrible. But uh, the the surroundings around was was yeah terrible. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Remember to uh, check out some of these people that we had. go to watch the uh, Oki Fest uh, 2024. It'll be hashtagged all over. Enter it on your uh, channels, and uh, you're going to see a huge amount of uh, videos. I'm sure uh, Dutch and Brandy and uh and uh kevin and, and uh rachel <laughs> i knew her name <laughs> and uh they uh their and their kids and everything all their kids were involved in it uh they put on a spectacular job and uh you just can't say enough uh they were super nice people uh they were running around we didn't video any of them because they were so caught and picking busy with people asking them questions and you, I'm sure doing things and stuff like that and make sure it went off as smooth as it did. 
uh, they were just covered up. Uh, you know, Dutch waved at me. I said hi to him, and he he waved and moved on with his day. Brandy gave, uh, talked to us a little bit and stuff, and uh, Rachel talked to us for a while and stuff. And uh, and uh, we talked to Kevin for we saw him coming through, but he was on the phone, and I think he actually hung up. I said hi to him. He actually hung up who he was talking to and said he'd call back or something. I forget he said something, and then he just turned around and gave us a few minutes, and then he moved on with his day. And uh, super nice people. You just you watch the uh, their channels and stuff like that, and I'll link their channels below. And uh, like I said, they uh, you can't beat nice people. It just it's very nice. But uh, anyway, until next time, may God bless your days the way He always does ours. See ya.